Hey everybody, today we're going to go ahead and do a quick video here on how I got this installed. The reason I want to do this video is because I didn't see too many out there like this. Um, I wanted the video LCD to come on only when I put the truck uh, in reverse. Uh, we're going to be installing this today on a 2005 F-150 and this is the brand of um, a reverse uh, camera that I got. I got it off of Amazon. The deal was like I don't know, 25 bucks on a lightning deal or something. So let's get into it and check it out and we'll uh, show you how we got it done. So when you unbox it, uh, you're going to find that it has a couple components. You're going to have the camera, you're going to have a long uh, RCA yellow cable with two red tag ends that are, aren't really look like they go to anything. And then you're going to have your LCD screen with a video uh, cable, the power connection, and then you're going to have an additional power cable that feeds the LCD monitor. And it's going to have a ground and a positive, and they're both just 12 volt. So basically we got to power both the camera and we've got to power the LCD. So what I did was set it up to only bring the LCD on when the reverse light was put on because I didn't want to have it burn out and on all the time when um, just waiting for the video feed from the backup camera. I've seen some other videos shows you how to hook up the LCD to say the ignition switch. Uh, that means that when the truck or the car is on that LCD is on all the time. Uh, it's just not displaying anything because the power to the video camera is actually not on. So when you flip it in reverse, the power feeds the camera, and then you get a display on the screen. So in order to keep the life of the uh, screen lasting a little bit longer, uh, I wanted to set it up only to come on when the reverse uh, is put in, in gear. So let's check it out. We'll show you how we did it. So here's the basic uh, setup from the license plate. Again. Um, just uh, basic ran it over the bumper and then up underneath towards the left over here where we're going to take it in and we're going to put it in the brake light and I'll show you how we did that real quick. So you've got two screw holes right here, one here and one here. You're going to need a um, 5 16 socket that'll take that off and you pull slide the, slide the light out. So what you want to do here is you'll notice on the connection, what you have is a bottom and a top on your reverse light. See here, if you back out, this is your main light here. This bottom one here is your reverse light. What you want to do is get on that reverse, that reverse connection, take it out, and on the F-150, the positive is has the uh, bicolored, um, the bicolored uh, cable there. So you'll notice it has the uh, little line of paint going through it. That's your positive feed. That's your 12 volt feed. And here's your ground. Basically, you probably could just, uh, well, I tested some things. I didn't get a signal until I grounded it well here. Tried other places, just wasn't working out. So I'd recommend getting these quick clips. You can find these at the store, um, Walmart, or your auto, uh, auto place, parts store. These are uh, quick splices. They, uh, pretty cheap makes it real easy to do this job and so I did both the uh, positive and the negative run it through down through and we'll show you where we uh, connect everything up underneath so as you can see here I run it down from the brake light the black and the white or the black and the red rather uh, positive and negative uh, power to the camera itself it's coming down and then we have the power feed it comes in from the brake light and then runs over to the camera on the on the license plate over here you can see it feeds it all the way over here that's feeding the power to the license plate now what we have is the yellow video feed this is also coming from the camera on the license plate and then this runs all the way up to the front of the truck to the LCD following this black video feed. Now you'll notice 
this is the tag line I was referring to. It has nothing connected to it, it just has a bare wire in the end of it. So what I did with that was, is I took that, and if you look here, I actually split the black and the white down the middle, so I separated them, and I connected right here with another quick clip, but I wrapped it up so the so the rain and water wouldn't get to it. Another uh, quick splice, and I used that red feed coming off of the video line, quick spliced it to the red uh, power, 12 volt power, from the brake light. So this runs all the way through the black cable, up alongside of the truck under the undercarriage, all the way up to the main cabin, and I'll show you how we connect it once we get up there. So here we are up underneath the uh, driver's door. See so here's the driver's seat. And if you look here, underneath, if you run the video feed all the way up to the, to the front, you'll notice there's a little rubber boot here. And what that rubber boot is, feeds right up into the main part of the cab, right about here. And what you do is you wanna pull off, pop this up here, all the way up, you know, this comes right up. You pull up the edge, just be careful on the back side here, there's one, two, and three uh, plastic clips. They're a little, uh, it's, uh, they're a little, you know, brittle plastics, what it is, especially for a while, especially this age vehicle. That'll get you some space there, and you'll see right here, pull this seal, this weather stripping, all the way up to this fit. There's a there's a uh, metal clip here and here that it runs in. It's a channel. You can just take this and tip it out towards you. It'll come right out of that channel. You can kind of see it right here. How we have it. There's a metal channel that catches right here where it's coming up, as you can see. It'll you pull it right out of here, continue along all the way down, pull it out here, and continue up along the door right up to the top where it starts to come across and that's where you're gonna stop because that's all you'll need. Now I went ahead and mounted my reverse uh, display right here. Um, it was just easiest for me. You can mount it wherever you can move stuff around but I found that it was easiest to be able to go right down behind here. You can pull this off you'll see that it'll be able to get in right behind this uh, right in behind the uh, weather stripping right in behind the plastic and you'll be able to feed it right down into this area and tuck it all in behind the connection so when we bring the connection up here we have the same yellow and we have the same um, red tag end and what we do like we did in the back like I was showing you on the instructions is on the video side of this uh, feed, the video cable feed, you have the other red tag end, okay? That red tag end is gonna now feed into the red uh, bare wire for your power feed for your LCD. So you're gonna match the red with the red. What I did was is I put a heat shrink sleeve on here, I spliced the red with the red at the end of the other RCA video cable, put the heat shrink sleeve over them, shrinked it up, and then I wrapped it in electrical tape. Then I tucked it all in behind here and put it away all nicely. Feeds right up into the main um, cab area here, right behind this, and your display feeds that. And then what I did with the ground, Right here, what I did with the ground, the black coming out of here, the ground I took, and you get better feed this way. If you don't do it, I found that if you don't do a good ground, what you end up having problems with is you end up having distortion on your LCD. So I stripped enough wire back from the uh, from that power feed that goes to the LCD monitor. The, the, the all red, this is the red and black, that means it's the ground. So the all red is going to the all red off of the um, video feed, RCA cable that you had on the description. And I came up underneath here and there's a metal plate. I just used a self-tapping screw and put on a, a little uh, 
crimp on ter terminal here and I was able to ground it right there and as you can see here part of the connections what I ended up doing is they're right here tucked away back out here a little bit you can see here there is the power coming from the um, main line here's the here's the uh, video feed and on the other end of this video feed back here you'll notice we have the uh, red power so that red power is 12 volt is feeding the 12 volt like I showed on the description before that is um, feeding the LCD power right here and then what happens is let's get her started up so now we won't burn out the LCD and by when we turn the ignition on see the camera still isn't on the camera's still not on and neither is the LCD the LCD power is not on either not until we actually go ahead and put it in reverse okay, now we have the power on the LCD and the camera at the same time if we go back to park we turn the power off to the LCD and the camera so there you go that's how we do it that's how we save some some uh, dollars from having to replace the LCD